Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Hello everyone. How are you? Are you fine? Happy to meet you with this new lesson, which is a grammar lesson. Our lesson will be about modal verbs, the second part. As we have seen in the previous lesson, we have spoken about modal verbs in the present. Now we are going to speak about modal verbs in the past. Models, as we have seen in the previous lesson, can express different ideas, and one of them is obligation. But when we want to express obligation in the past, we use had to. We use had to plus bare infinitive. Bare infinitive it means infinitive without to for example had to do had to go had to see etc now let's study this example as we missed the bus we had to take a taxi despite the high cost we had to here it means that we were obliged it was obligatory for us to take a taxi although it was expensive we took it why because we missed the bus so had to means it was obligatory advice can be expressed in the past by using should or ought to have plus past participle should or ought to have plus past participle for example should have done should have seen should have gone etc example she should have studied more often did she study more often no she didn't but she should have so she should have it was advisable for her to study more but she didn't and now she didn't get a good mark number two you ought to have driven more carefully you ought to have driven more carefully but you were not careful you were not careful it was advisable for you to drive carefully and now you are fined by the policeman ability can be expressed by could the model could plus bare infinitive example she could drive she could drive her father's car when she was only 15 which means that she was able to she was capable of she was able to drive her father's car when she was only 15 so ability or past ability can be expressed by could plus infinitive without to Certainty can be expressed by using must have plus past participle. Must have plus past participle. Example, he must have been rich. He must have been rich. Why? Because he had a big castle and an expensive car. I am sure that he was rich I am sure that he was rich so here we express certainty in the past we can also express certainty in the negative way by using can't have or couldn't have plus past participle 
example Brian can't have committed the crime or Brian couldn't have committed the crime which means that I am sure he didn't commit the crime he didn't commit the crime so we have expressed here certainty in the past of course certainty in the past by using can't or couldn't have plus past participle which means that someone is sure that something didn't happen possibility can be expressed differently by using may can could might have plus past participle I guess it may or it can or it could or it might have been Lucy on the phone it means it's possible that it was Lucy it was Lucy on the phone so I expressed possibility in the past by using these modal verbs lack of obligation can be uh, can be expressed in two different ways either you can use needn't have plus past participle and didn't need to plus bare infinitive of course there is a difference between needn't have and didn't need to but don't concern yourself with these uh, differences okay so you express lack of obligation by using needn't have plus past participle or didn't need to plus bare infinitive let's see the example we had plenty we had a lot of petrol in the tank so we didn't sorry we didn't need to fill up we didn't need to fill up which means it wasn't necessary it wasn't obligatory I needn't have prepared all that food it wasn't necessary for me to prepare all that food because the guests phoned to say that they wouldn't be coming so we needn't have prepared all that food Okay. Now let's do some practice with the first exercise in which you are going to choose one of the following to complete the sentences. Must have, might have, should have, can't have, could or needn't have. Another time must have expresses certainty in the past might have expressed plus past participle of course expresses possibility in the past should have plus past participle expresses yes advice in the past can't have plus past participle expresses certainty in the past in the negative way could plus infinitive expresses ability needn't have plus past participle expresses yes lack of obligation in the past now do the exercise read the sentences carefully and fill in the blanks with these models take your time to do the exercise Okay, think before you leap, as we say. Now, before you move to the correction of the exercise, try to do the exercise, and after this, you can compare with the correction and see if you did it right or no. Now let's see the correction of the exercise. Number one, Sally can't have been hungry. She can't have been hungry. I am sure that she wasn't hungry. Why? 
because she had eaten two pizzas a little while earlier so I am sure that she wasn't she wasn't hungry Sarah looks really pleased with herself she must have passed her driving test I am sure that Sarah passed her driving test why what makes me say so because she is really pleased and she is happy with herself number three I didn't know you were going to Phil's wedding party you should have told me but you didn't tell me it was wrong of you not to tell me number four I don't know where they went on holiday but they bought euros before they left they might have gone to France or Germany possibility in the past why because I don't know where they went I don't know I have no idea where they went so I expressed possibility by the time he was four Guillermo could read and write by the time he was four Guillermo could read and write he was able to read and write number six you needn't have done everything yourself I could have helped you but it wasn't necessary for you to do it by yourself why because I could have helped you but you did it second practice you are going to rewrite these sentences using models maybe he learned Spanish as a child maybe it was advisable for you to ask him to do it you I am sure Peter didn't enjoy his holiday it's possible that the teacher saw me cheating it wasn't necessary for me to tell him about my project I think you were wrong to reveal your secrets I am sure that your classmate took your jacket by mistake when Mary was seven she wasn't able to ride a bike okay now take some time to do the exercise and then go to the correction it will take you about eight minutes or ten minutes to do it now let's go to the correction maybe he learned Spanish as a child uh, if you see the word maybe which means it's possible and the verb learned which means that we are speaking in the past so we are going to express possibility in the past he may have learned he may have learned you can use also he might have learned it was advisable it was advisable so what are we going to express here advice in the past you you should have asked him to do it you should have asked him to do it I am sure I am sure certain so I'm going to express certainty but I'm going to express certainty in the past didn't enjoy Peter can't have enjoyed his holiday Peter can't have I am sure that he didn't enjoy his holiday so we have expressed certainty in the past in a negative way it's possible that the teacher saw me cheating possible possibility in the past so so the teacher might have seen or 
could have seen or may have seen me cheating. It wasn't necessary for me to tell him about my project. It wasn't necessary. So, here we express possibility in the past. It wasn't. I needn't have told. I needn't have told. Past participle of the verb tell. I think you were wrong to reveal your secrets. You were wrong. You shouldn't. You did a mistake. So you shouldn't have revealed your secrets. I am sure that your classmate took your jacket by mistake. Certainty in the past. Your classmate must have taken your jacket by mistake. Number eight, when Mary was a child, she wasn't able to ride a bike. Mary couldn't ride. She wasn't able. So she couldn't ride a bike when she was a child. Okay. Uh, I hope that you got it. I hope that you understood how to express obligation and advice and other ideas in the past so see you in a new lesson next time inshallah and good luck